I don't know how many of you have been through trials and tribulations in your life, but 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 there is a word from the Lord this morning. Yes, it is. And so 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 God wants us to. Uh, the, he, he never promised that there would not be trials and tribulations. Uh, and even if you haven't had no trials and tribulations, uh, uh, just as my uncle said, keep on living. Uh, because just as sure as you're born, uh, the trials and the tribulations uh, will come. So this morning, as we look in the Word, uh, are we going to look at Daniel's character uh, before the trial? Uh, Daniel's character during the trial? And Daniel's character after the trial? And so we know that Daniel encountered several different trials. He didn't encounter a one trial. You and I won't encounter one trial in our life. Those of us who know Jesus Christ and the pardon of our sins, uh, uh, sometimes we will go into trial after trial after trial. But, but I believe the Lord wants us to, to go through the trial of uh, knowing that we can count on uh, the true and the living God. I feel like preaching in here this morning. In the name of Jesus. A good God Almighty. I feel like preaching. Uh, so looking in the word of God this morning before I get too happy. Uh, 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 Daniel before the trial. Counting on God. Uh, uh, and when Reverend Palms, uh, I cannot apologize for the word of God. Uh, uh, it was me who wanted all of that scripture read. Uh, uh, because somewhere uh, uh, in that is a blessing for you and there's a blessing for I. Uh, uh, we can go to the box game. Uh, uh, we can give them an hour, two hours, uh, and leave when the game over uh, and not say a uh, uh, mumbling word. Uh, uh, but somehow uh, uh, when the scripture is a little bit too long, uh, all folk get a little bit of shook up with you. So don't charge it to Reverend Ponds. Uh, 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 charge it to God. Uh, uh, don't even charge it to me. Charge it to our Lord and Savior, Jesus. He the Christ. I'm uh, uh, looking at Daniel this morning. Uh, I'm coming from the, reading from the NIV version. Uh, 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 the word says, but Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine. He asked the chief official for permission not to defile himself this way. That's right, that's right. And so looking at this, uh, uh, Daniel, before the trial, we know that uh, the question might be asked, what was Daniel even doing in this place? Uh, and we know that uh, for you theologians who are in the house, let me try to set this up right. Uh, uh, Daniel, uh, 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 in Daniel, we know that uh, Judah was taken captive uh, under this king, uh, King Jehoiakim. Uh, and, and we know that Nebuchadnezzar came in and besieged uh, and took uh, not only articles from the house of God, but, but he also took the children of God. Uh, and Daniel was in the first uh, uh, invasion. Daniel was in that, that first part of the exile. Uh, and even though Daniel was taken into captivity, uh, Daniel knew his purpose uh, in the Lord. Uh, so Daniel finds himself uh, uh, in the enemy territory. Uh, how many of you find yourself uh, uh, this morning uh, in the enemy territory? Uh, something going on to, in your life where, where you feel like you're in the enemy territory uh, this morning? But don't you worry about it uh, uh, because Daniel finds himself in that place too. And so, uh, and so uh, uh, when the king asked uh, his, his basically his chief of staff, uh, putting it in our language, uh, the king told the chief of staff that uh, he said, go in there and get some of the Israel, Judah's the royal ones. Uh, uh, go get some boys that, that are easy uh, to learn where, where I can teach them to work in my palace. Uh, 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 those who can be taught something. Uh, uh, those who, who I want to have in my palace. Uh, and so when Daniel uh, 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 said in verse 8, and, and he took them to, to the king's table to eat the royal food and, and to drink the royal wine, uh, uh, Daniel knew right then and there that uh, he didn't want to go to the king's table to defile himself. Uh, now, I've been thinking about this all week long, uh, and I said, uh, 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 defiled, uh, uh, what does that mean uh, in this context? Uh, and, and I don't think it was so much the food, uh, I mean, and the wine. Uh, I believe Daniel didn't want to go to the table and suck with the enemy. Yeah. 
in this context, uh, uh, anything that defiles uh, you and I as believers, anything that would keep us uh, from having that right relationship with Jesus, even called the Christ. Uh, for some uh, of us, it's finances. Uh, for some, it might be drugs. Uh, for some, it might be alcohol. Whatever it is that keeps you from studying the Word of God uh, and having that right relationship uh, with God. Uh, it might even just be your job uh, that keeps you uh, from not having the relationship that God wants you to have. Uh, so Daniel knew his purpose. Uh, and when we know our purpose and our calling, uh, uh, we don't have a problem uh, of standing up in the face of the enemy. Daniel, Daniel this morning didn't have a problem saying, I don't want to go sup, uh, but his character of Daniel in that he knew his purpose, uh, he had the character and he had the, 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 the everything, the attributes, uh, uh, the, the charisma, uh, the, 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 the uh, tenacity uh, to, to tell the chief of staff uh, in a way that he wasn't outside uh, of the purpose and the plan of God, uh, but he had the ability to stand up and let them know uh, if you would just give me and my friend some, some vegetables and some water, uh, right. and then we will uh, be all right. And, and the chief of staff said, no, I don't think that I can do that because if the king found out that I gave you that uh, permission, then he will have uh, my head. Uh, and even Daniel then didn't get upset with the man. Uh, uh, Daniel's character allowed and convinced this man that he and his friend would be okay with just the vegetables and the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Daniel kept his character. Daniel kept his uh, 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 Holy Ghost about him. Yeah, right. Daniel right. didn't flinch in the face of the enemy. Or Daniel didn't give up. Yeah. He didn't have a pity party. But when we know our purpose and our plan for God, to, we know how to stand up and do what God has called us to do. Yeah. Yeah. So Daniel, before the trial, uh, and there's something about our purpose, uh, uh, when we understand the purpose that God has, uh, and trust me, God has a purpose, for each and every one of us. Uh, and it's something about when well, we can connect with that purpose. Uh, there's something about when well, we can connect where God wants us. Uh, the Holy Ghost uh, uh, somehow can get a hold of us uh, and be able to use us even in the presence of the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. The book of Daniel represents a, a godly man, and as I said, in an enemy territory, but not only in enemy territory, in the kingdom of the enemy. Uh, uh, Daniel actually represents, uh, uh, in this uh, writing, he depicts Christ as the striking stone. Uh, and we know that Christ is depicted in every uh, book of the Bible. So Daniel not only represents himself well, and his people, he represents God, he represents Christ, uh, and Daniel also represents you and I. Yes. All right. All right. Daniel represents you and I, uh -huh. how we ought to stand in the face of the enemy. Yeah. Uh -huh. And now my brothers and my sisters, uh, uh, Daniel uh, uh, doing the trial, we know that in the second chapter where, where uh, Reverend Palms read uh, so beautifully before us this morning, uh, is that uh, Nebuchadnezzar has a dream yeah, yeah. and it troubles his mind uh, in the court where they put Daniel and his friends uh, uh, by the way uh, uh, Daniel and his friends uh, the name that, that Nebuchadnezzar gave them was Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego right. and that's where we know them but that was not their God given name uh -huh. Daniel was his God given name and, and, and his friends was Hananiah uh, Mishael and uh, Azariah, I believe. Uh, and that was their God-given names. Uh, so we see that Nebuchadnezzar has a dream uh, we're beginning in chapter 2 uh, and he calls it, the dream so troubles him uh, and he could not sleep so he calls for the king. He, saw, he summoned the magicians uh, uh, and, uh, the sorcerers and the astrologers. Uh, 
and they were not able to tell Nebuchadnezzar his dream. Uh, as a matter of fact, that they stood before the king and said, King, if you tell us the dream first, then we will be able to interpret it for you. Uh, and, and that's how you and I do sometimes. Uh, sometimes when we're not firm-footed uh, and we're not in a, a calling, uh, we would stand up and have somebody to believe that we can do uh, this and that. Uh, and and, and sometimes we, we can't do this and the that. Uh, can somebody say amen? Amen. Amen. All right. So Daniel... Uh, uh, before I go there, but they stood before the king and, and they kept telling the king that, King, uh, let us, uh, uh, tell us uh, what you dream that we will be able to interpret it for you. Uh, and finally they made the king so mad, the king just said, all of you get out of here. Uh -huh. Just just go get out of here because if you don't tell me the dream, uh, well, first of all, you tell me the dream that, that I will shower you with gifts. Uh, I will give your houses. I will give Everything that you ever so desired. Uh, and believe it, the king had it to give. Uh, and so, but they still could not interpret the dream. Uh, and I believe sometimes that's where you and I are when, when we say that we can do something and we can't do something because I believe we want those things from God. Uh, I believe we want God to shower us uh, uh, with the things. I don't think sometimes it, it always comes from, uh, uh, yes, it comes from the world that we live in, but, but I think that we know that how much people would appreciate us uh, if we could get up uh, and just do what somebody else does. Uh, come on, y'all be real in here this morning. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Come on. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 they, 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 they make the king so mad that the king says, all of y'all just get out of here. And, 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 and they had a death sentence over here. He said that I am going to slay you. And not only am I going to slay you, I'm going to slay everybody in your household. I'm going to get rid of everybody. And there is a price up that you pay. And sometimes somebody else pays when you can't deliver what you said you could deliver. Uh -huh. There is a price. Yes. And so uh, we pick up in, in chapter 2, verse 12, uh, Daniel's character of uh, uh, doing the trial. And he says, uh, this made the king so angry and furious that he ordered the execution of all the wise men of Babylon. So the decree was issued to put the wise men to death, and, and men were sent to look for Daniel and his friends to put them to death. And so when Ariok, the commander of the king's guard, had gone out to put, put, to put to death the wise men of Babylon, Daniel spoke to him with wisdom and tact. Uh, uh, look at Daniel. Daniel got a death sentence on his head. Uh, and his friends got a death sentence on their head. But, but he was able to speak to, to the chief uh, 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 commander with tact and say, Give us some time. Uh, uh, let me see if I can, uh, can uh, 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 tell the king what his dream means. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yes. So yes. we had the, the astrologers and, and all of those uh, pretend they know how to do something, folk, and they're telling the king <laughs> to give them time. Uh, but, but when the chief commander came to Daniel, Daniel said, uh, 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 with tact and diplomacy, he said that... Um, let us see if we can uh, tell the dream, tell the king what his dream means. Uh, and so he asked the king's officer, uh, what did the king issue such a harsh decree? And so they told Daniel, and then in verse 17, then Daniel returned to his house and explained the matter to his friends, Hanani, Mishael, and Azariah. And he, he urged them to plead for mercy from God of heaven concerning the mystery so that he and his friends might be might not be executed with the rest of the wise men. Now, and I don't know about you, but my brothers and my sisters, when we find ourselves in, in trials and tribulations of life, uh, we need just a few good friends. Uh, somebody we can go to uh, to help us call on the name of the Lord. We don't need a whole town of people. Uh, we don't need sometime the entire congregation. Uh, we just need one, two, or three faithful friends uh, uh, where we can say, can you help me call on the Lord? Uh, don't act like you ain't never had no trial or tribulation uh, in your life. Uh, you know the devil came and, and stirred up some stuff in your life. Uh, uh, you didn't know what to do. Uh, yeah. Some of you put 
same things. Uh, he went to the king uh, and knocked on the king's door. Uh, said, King, I know what you're doing. The king already for hiding of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, uh, uh, as it was. So, so Daniel uh, went before he went into the king. Uh, when his friends and he prayed all night long, uh, 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 the Bible said that's when Daniel said, uh, uh, thank, uh, I thank and praise my God for the wisdom that he's given us. Uh, 